Today we're gonna talk about the song System by the band Brotherly. And I chose this song because I want to, not because Opas asked me to. <laughs> Hello all you people watching, how are you? I'm back from my awesome break and I'm ready to get some counting going. As I said, today's song is System by the band Brotherly. This one has been on my list for quite a while and finally it's getting the spotlight it deserves. Check this awesome groove out. This song is all about perception shifts, using slight field changes. In a drum groove, while the kick and snare usually dictate the personality of the pattern, the hi-hat provides the rhythmic context of the beat, usually playing quarter notes or eighth notes. Listen to this. Simple familiar grooves come with a lot of emotional weight, partially because of the amount of exposure we have with them, like this one. This groove is so familiar, a change in height placement won't do much. A groove like this one is very hard to shift, because we're so wired to hear it in a certain way. But I'll try it, let's see if it works. I don't know about you, I felt the one exactly where it was before. When the grooves are a bit more complex, the hi-hat can manipulate them a bit more. We'll still have our favorite familiar version, but with enough help, we can flip this groove to this groove. But when the pattern is very syncopated and unfamiliar, like this one, the hi-hat has a lot of influence over what context you perceive this groove through. So version one, and version two, The kick and snare never changed, but the context around them did. By the way, a monster drummer who plays a bunch of grooves like this is David Garibaldi from Tower of Power. Wow. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, let's go back to today's song. The first thing to figure out here is where beat one is. There are many ways to interpret this. I hear the one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I know many people hear the one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I found a YouTube video in which the composer discusses this and mentions that the one is actually here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. For our purposes, it doesn't really matter where you hear beat one, as long as you feel the main beats as these. Okay, let's uh, draw things. The time signature here is six four a very juicy time signature for polyrhythms. I'll write it down using the downbeat as most people hear it, not the way I do, because I'm such a nice guy. So, we have six main beats. Each beat is divided into four subbeats, so 16th notes. If we color in the main pattern, played by the kick and the bass guitar, it'll look like this. Now, 
Now I'll add the hi-hat and snare. The hi-hat pattern varies, but the main idea behind it emphasizes these main beats. As for the snare drum, we have sort of a backbeat on beat 6 and an anticipated backbeat right before beat 3. The bass line and the kick drum play a constant dotted 8th note pulse, so like a grouping of 3 16 notes. This pulse is an interesting one. It's short enough not to be confusing regardless to where I put the hi-hat or the metronome. For example, ta 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 or ta 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 And it's cool enough to keep the groove grooving. In this song, the pattern starts right on beat one. So what happens in this section? The shift here is very simple and very effective. Check this out. This innocent snare drum hit goes one subbeat backwards. Um, and that's basically it. What? By moving the snare hit one beat earlier, we create two snare hits with equal distance from one another, which gives us a very strong two and four backbeat vibe. Now the hi-hat accommodates this new version of interpreting the pulse and we get this new hip-hop 4-4-ish kind of beat. And since we're still in the same bar technically, we still have 24 sub-beats. So if we call it 4-4, the sub-beats would be sextuplets. The kick in the bass guitar pattern doesn't move at all. How cool is that? You have to admit, this is pretty awesome. Usually, when musicians use this method of altering internal groupings, they stay loyal to where beat 1 is. So, where we perceive beat 1 stays and the internal groupings change. In this song, both the groupings change and where we perceive beat 1 changes. It goes back 1 16 note which is pretty rare and pretty awesome. Notice how when we go back to the initial feel, the snare jumps back one beat forward and we're back to the 6-4 vibe. By the way, the hi-hat line in general is not the exact hi-hat part. It's the main perceived beats that the hi-hat implies. This beat sounds like it moves because the new perceived main beats don't align with the bass line, as they did in the first version. And because of our evident bias towards liking steady backbeats, we rather shift the whole bass line, in our head of course, in order to accommodate this new backbeat pulse, over staying true to the bass line and hearing the snare drum as being the syncopated one. Yep. We're more inclined to favor steady snare hits and syncopated bass lines and bass drums rather than the opposite. We are but simple creatures. The polyrhythmic section of this song is quite tricky to explain and I hope I made it somewhat simpler. Happy 2021, folks. Thanks for watching.